So, I have been asked quite a few times for a lot of the recipes that I do on the channel. Um, so I decided to put together a little series, kind of going over all of that, and we're gonna start with breakfast. I personally can't have breakfast before I have some coffee, so let's get some coffee going first. So if you've been around the channel for a while, you will have heard me talk about Wildland. Uh, it's coffee in a tea bag, it makes uh, making coffee and cleaning up while camping so easy. It's perfect for camping, for overlanding, for hiking, for just adventure in general where you don't really uh, want to do the whole French press mess. I love a good French press but this is delicious coffee and it's just so much easier to do while camping. So Wildland is the way to go. I got a discount code in the description if you're interested. But yeah, I'm starting my day with some coffee and then we'll get into breakfast. So today I want to go over three of my favorite camping uh, meals for breakfast. Um, and the first one is super, super easy. It's a classic um, kind of scramble that you put in a tinfoil packet. So all you need for this is some butter, some uh, meat of choice. I chose kielbasa, some turkey kielbasa. Um, you need an onion, a bell pepper, and some potatoes. You can kind of scale this for however many people you have at camp, but um, it's just myself out here, so kind of limited ingredients this morning. So I'm gonna start with the potatoes. I like to chop them uh, <clears throat> a little smaller than normal, probably <clears throat> no larger than a half inch by half inch. Um, that just allows it to cook a little, a little quicker and a little more evenly, because um, it's gonna be over the fire. Take your aluminum foil, make like a little little tray for it. And dump them in. We're just gonna layer everything in this little packet. So next I'll do some bell pepper. Now it's time for the onion. I'm gonna chop the onion <clears throat> as fine as possible because I really like to get a good uh, caramelization on the onion.
It's also helpful to have the onion kind of shifted towards the bottom of the um, of the foil packet. That way, it like it is right next to the heat and it gets cooked nicely. Alright, time for the meat. I've only done kielbasa in this because it's so good. Um, <clears throat> you could probably do ham or or spam if you wanted to, or maybe some ground beef, some leftover steak from the night before. A bunch of options, but for the kielbasa, I cut it in half like that, and then just uh, little like quarter inch slices after that. Go. Throw that in here. I'm gonna mix everything up. Put some uh, <clears throat> salt and pepper. I just do salt and pepper. You could do whatever seasoning you really want. place it randomly on top of the mix. How much you want to use, kind of up to you, but the butter adds a really, really good flavor, especially when um, <clears throat> things start to caramelize. The onions and the kielbasa get a really good um, caramelization on it, especially with the butter. that. Um, that it just it tastes so good and then we'll close it up So I have this grate I like to put mine on. Uh, keeps it a little further away from the flame so you're not just like uh, burning everything right away. This grate was super cheap, I got it off Amazon. Um, this is nice to have for a lot of things. But anyways, <clears throat> I like to keep it a little elevated. That way we don't just burn things right away and it can cook a little slower. So we'll leave this here for probably 20 to 30 minutes and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so while the foil packet is on the fire, we're gonna move on to the next meal. This one's very, very limited ingredient, but it's a little more involved just because there's more prep that goes into it as far as peeling and shredding and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> um, all we're gonna need for this is a sweet potato, some maple sausage. Um, you could use whatever sausage you want probably, but maple sausage is really, really good in this, and then a few eggs. I don't even season it, I don't salt and pepper or do anything like that. I literally just, those all together is so good. Um, so, we're gonna get the maple sausage going, and while that is starting, we'll shred the sweet potato and throw it all in together and let it cook together. So this meal is actually best um, with a cast iron, but uh, cast iron over the over the fire. But I don't have room on the grate right now um, because I'm doing multiple meals at the same time just to knock all this out. Um, but just so you know, this in a cast iron is where it's at.
All right. I think my I'm gonna actually add a little bit of butter. I like it. And then we'll toss the sweet potatoes in there. All right, so while this is cooking, we're gonna check on the foil packet because I think it's pretty close. Um, this has a little ways to go anyway, so uh, yeah, let's check on the foil packet. Coming along, but that definitely still has some time left in there. In fact, I think we could turn the heat up a little. In the time it took to check on the foil packet, this is ready to go. So I pushed all the potatoes and meat to the side, so I'm gonna crack three eggs in the center and then scramble them up. Once those are pretty close to cook through, I'm going to start mixing in everything else. And there we go, this is done. So this meal sounded super weird to me when I was first told about it. Um, but if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that it is one of my favorites. Oh god, yeah. Some about the sweet potato and the sausage and how it gets all like crispy and caramelized, it's just so good. I'm going to take this home and enjoy it later because I have two other meals that I'm cooking. Um, but before we get to the last meal, let's see how that tinfoil packet is coming. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. Forgot to mention <clears throat> when you do this tinfoil packet, some of the food is going to be sacrificed to burning on the bottom, getting a little crisp. Ooh, I like that. I think it tastes really good. Ooh, a hot <clears throat> man, that's good. This is actually something you could easily prep before coming out to camp. Uh, you know, put it in some Tupperware, throw it in some tin foil once you're out here, and then do it. Or, as you can see, it wasn't too difficult for me to cut everything up and do it while out here. My favorite part, if you're not playing a drinking game for a shot every time I say caramelize, you're missing out. My favorite part about this is getting those burnt, crisp, <clears throat> caramelized edges. Um, you get it a little bit on the kielbasa, the potatoes if you do it right, you get some, and especially the onions.
super good. All right. Final breakfast idea for you all. This one is my favorite, I think, but it's the most involved. Um, but it is so good. Typically, I do this with bacon. I'm gonna do it with sausage. But we are gonna make some camping McGriddles. Um, so I have some pancake mix, I have cheese, egg, and meat of choice. So like I said, I'm doing sausage. Typically, I do it with bacon, but I had sausage, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is mix up the batter. Um, there's a little trick with getting the maple into the pancake as well. Um, it might be very specific to my situation, but hopefully some of you can relate or find um, an alternative, but I'll at least give you the idea of how to inject the pancake with the maple syrup. All right, so we got our pancake mix. This is uh, Snoqualmie Falls Lodge pancake mix. It is probably the best pancake mix that I've found. Like it's literally just this and water. It is so good though. <clears throat> so Snoqualmie Falls Lodge, I would imagine it's very specific to Washington State or Pacific Northwest maybe. So if you can't find it, I, I apologize. Um, but you know, any, any pancake mix will work. So I'm gonna leave the batter relatively thick because um, I want it to hold its shape when I kind of make the buns out of it. Um, also, it'll make putting the maple into the pancake a lot easier. That way it's not just super runny and it all blends together because you kind of want to try and get those, those pockets of maple syrup in here. All right, that's all mixed up. So we'll get the uh, sausage going now. All right, before the sausage gets too far along, I want to get the pancakes going. Um, the egg will be super quick, so we'll do that when everything else is done. So I've pushed the sausage off to the side. I'm gonna put two things of, make two little pancakes. These are about, I don't know, three to four inches in diameter. Okay, so now that that is on, we need to put the maple syrup in the pancakes. <clears throat> um, the best way I've found to do this, and like I said, this might be very specific to, to my situation. <clears throat> um, I have a toddler and, and we have all these little Tylenol syringe things for him. Um, so I use that. Um, kind of suck up some of the maple syrup. And then put the tip of the syringe in and just do little, little dots all the way around. You can pour maple syrup on the top. It doesn't mix blend in. It doesn't blend in very well to the pancake. And then you end up with just like burnt maple syrup on the top, <clears throat> which isn't ideal. So this is kind of the way to go. Find some way to get it actually in there without um, mixing it all in. So when it cooks, you literally have little pockets of, of maple syrup. All right, time to get the egg going. Oh yeah, those are ready. All right, just flip the egg. Gonna throw some cheese on it real quick. I use American cheese. Just a little craft single.
So this is my first time using this table, and I'm a big fan. Normally I cook on the tailgate of my truck, and it's a little bit difficult, but this is so nice. This was like $100 again off Amazon. Um, I'm gonna really enjoy having this from now on. All right, so the sausage is done. Egg is done. Time to make the sandwich. There we go, a camping griddle. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Uh, what do you think of the recipes? What I might be able to do differently. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this, so very outside of my comfort zone. Um, but let me know how I can improve it. Next is going to be lunch. Um, and then we'll get to dinner. I know there's a lot of people asking specifically about dinner recipes. So I'm excited to get to that one. But you're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. So I'm going to enjoy my sandwich by the fire. Until next time, I hope you're able to get off the grid and off the grind. And I'll see you in the next one.